My name is Chris Bacon, and my paper is called Multi-Language, Multi-Purpose, uh, Literature Review, Synthesis, and Framework for Critical Literacies in English Language Teaching. This stems from my own work as a teacher and teacher educator for multilingual learners, particularly students who are learning a nationally or globally dominant language, in this case, English. And I situate this work within critical approaches to literacy in the Frarian tradition. Oftentimes, teachers of multilingual learners, they'll say this critical literacy approach, this is really interesting, this is really powerful, but I don't think my learners are ready for it yet, particularly if they're still in the process of learning a language. So what I wanted to do was gather a body of work that looked at this from another angle that said, uh, it really looked at different ways that we can approach critical literacies with multilingual learners in English language teaching. So I conducted a search I gathered a body of 68 studies representing 18 different countries, and I analyzed these studies through a, a qualitative metasynthesis approach that not only looked at these studies for what they found, but also looked at the body of work in its entirety to say, what does this say about the field of critical literacies in English teaching in general? And it really came out a truly broad range of studies. A lot of them looked at beliefs, about teachers' beliefs, about why they practice critical literacies in their classrooms. Uh, a lot of them also looked at learners, learners saying, hey, we can do this. This language learning uh, is, is helping me in this way. But also this, is, this critical literacy approach is really building my political consciousness in this way as well. A lot of studies also looked at pedagogies, different units and policies, different ways you could design a course around critical literacies, and also specific activities that you could do in classrooms as well. A lot of them grappled with this question of balancing language learning with critical engagement in the classroom. So through th synthesizing these studies, I put forth a framework to really look at this question of balance. It's a multi-language framework to acknowledge the multilingual competencies of students and the value of those, but it's also a multi-purpose framework in that it asks us to be reflexive about the critical approaches that we're using. There's a really broad range in the literature of what critical means uh, with both inside and outside of the classroom. So this study really did answer the question, yes, there's a lot of work out there that says language learners can engage with critical literacies while they're learning a language. But there's also a component of this framework that asks us to look at ourselves as, as scholars, as teachers, as researchers, particularly in teaching English, this globally dominant language that a lot of scholars have talked about is part of a, a global project of linguistic imperialism. What does that look like to teach and research these, um, this phenomenon in a critical way and take a critical look at what we do?